Learning a new software can be hard, but there are steps we can take to make it easier. So if you're exploring Fusion 360, but coming from a different design tool, I want to show you something that should help. If you access your preferences by selecting your name in the upper right, then preferences, one very important option I want to note are the default pan, zoom, and orbit controls. Here we've enabled you to mimic these controls from some other popular design tools, such as Alias, Inventor, and even SolidWorks. If your previous design tool isn't one of these three, maybe one is similar. That said, should you choose to learn the default controls, they'll become second nature in no time. So let me be the first to explain how to use them. If you spin the mouse wheel, you'll zoom in or out. If you find it goes in the opposite direction you expect, jump back in those preferences and select the toggle to reverse the zoom direction. When using this method, please note that it'll zoom where your mouse cursor is pointed. So if you want to focus in on a particular area or part, point, then zoom. To orbit, click and hold the shift key on your keyboard at the same time you hold the mouse wheel button, left, right, or up and down. The predictable nature of this rotation is aided by the fact that I'm using the constrained orbit. This rotates my model as if it were on a turntable. Again, if you prefer to use free orbit, you can change this from the navigation bar or the preferences. Finally, to pan, all you need to do is click and hold the mouse wheel button and move your mouse. This will slide the model while maintaining the same view orientation and zoom. If you ever find yourself far from your model, overly zoomed in, or otherwise lost, just double click the mouse wheel button. This is a shortcut to zoom to fit. Thanks for watching. Make sure to explore other preferences to ensure your fusion experience is as seamless as possible.